this is Bill here at PowerStrokeHelp.com. Watch this video to the end. I'll tell you how you can get one of these free hats. It has PowerStroke Help on one side and Arch Oil on the other. What we're going to deal with in this video is how emissions controls shorten the lifespan of engines by probably 50%. EGR coolers such as this one that's clogged. Okay, this is a 6.0. There's 6.4, 6.7. All have EGR coolers on them. And they're full of carbon. Carbon from unburned fuel or improperly burnt fuel ends up in these coolers. See, this one's clogged. We see this a lot, especially in vehicles that idle a lot, like ambulances or fleet vehicles that are not using Arch Oil AR6200 in the fuel. Hydrocarbon, carbon, is introduced to the airstream by the EGR valve. Every time that EGR valve opens, it is introducing carbon into the airstream going into the engine. This is like taking a handful of very fine sand and throwing it into the intake every time the EGR valve opens. This in a very acute situation, especially when you have one that's clogged solid like this, on your later model trucks, 2008 and up, will end up clogging your DPF also, the diesel particulate filter which is down line. Now we're going to take a look at the inside of what a fresh engine looks like and what an engine that has 93,000 miles looks like. Now this is a remanufactured engine uh, that we brought from our machine shop. This is what they look like when we get them. Uh, no pan on them and all, but, but what I want you to see is what the bores look like, where the pistons and rings travel up and down. And you see that crosshatch pattern in there? That crosshatch pattern is absolutely crucial. Uh, it is uh, what holds the oil, those little scratches hold the oil in there so that the, the rings are lubricated. Don't pre no premature wear of the rings. If that gets smoothed out by wear and tear, then there's no oil in there and the rings wear prematurely and no longer seat and you lose compression. It's very important that you see just what this looks like because I've seen 7.3 engines with 400,000 miles on them to come apart and they still have all the cross hatches in there. Uh, and they look fine. They're good and serviceable. Now let's go take a look at one that's got some wear and tear on it. Okay, this is a 93,000 mile engine that had a camshaft failure and the oil contaminated by metal traveling through the inside of the engine. So we have it apart. But what I want to point out here in these bores is notice how shiny the bore is, especially down there at the bottom, and how the cross hatches are basically worn away. This is a this is the this is this wear, excessive wear, especially in a 93,000 mile engine, is because of carbon being sucked into the engine via the EGR valve. This is detrimental to the life of the engine. This is a low mile engine, and those cross hatches shouldn't be gone down there. Notice the vertical lines, notice the vertical lines in the bore. Those vertical lines are because an abrasive has been introduced into the system. This is why it's there. Uh, a 7.3 engine would never have any of that. A well cared for one that has a correct air filter on it. But you're literally introducing fine particulate abrasive into your air intake stream via the EGR valve. And all these bores look the same. All these bores look the same. Every diesel engine that's been produced with an EGR system has this problem. This is not just a Ford problem. This is a Dodge, Chevrolet, Ford, GMC, uh, Detroit, Navistar, you name it. Caterpillar, they all have this problem. These engines are dying prematurely because of carbon being introduced into the air intake via the EGR system. The older 7.3 engines that were, you know, a 500,000 mile engine, 400,000 mile engine still had those cross hatches in there. But if you notice on that 93,000 mile engine that I just showed you that had a camshaft failure, the bores are almost smooth from, from the carbon entering the combustion chamber through the, through the air intake, opening by the opening of the EGR valve, coming in and literally that unburned hydrocarbon comes back and destroys the engine. You know, and this is a low mile engine. Now this one had a particularly acute problem, but this is a very common problem in all late model engines. 6.0 engine, 250,000 miles are generally done. You know, a 7.3 engine that was not emissions was four to 500,000 miles, no questions asked. The truck literally would fall apart around the, around the engine because the engine would outlast the rest of the truck. A 6.0 at, at 250,000 miles is starting to see compression problems because the bores are white clean because of the introduction of that carbon through the EGR valve, okay? 6.4s, 100, 150,000 mile motor. Now, 6.7s are better. 
The 6.7 is a much better engine in regard to this because they use less EGR because they've got selective catalyst reduction and they've got uh, the DPF you know, doing a lot of the work that the EGR used to do. But it's still a problem. We still see life shortened, especially on like ambulances and fleet vehicles that see a lot of idle time. We still see this carbon buildup. So what's the solution? What can you do? Well, you can delete them. I mean, outside of violating law and, and, and violating your warranty, if you take off the DPF on a, on a 6.7, a new truck, man, that's voided the warranty on the spot. Uh, I mean, I've heard of some dealers who will do it and, and then kind of fudge the warranty at later date, but for the most part, you have this balancing act between, okay, do we delete it and keep this carbon out of the intake path and risk a warranty claim or, you know, not delete it and, and, and roll the dice and hope that the engine holds together. The fact is, is that EGR is shortening the life of your engine significantly. So what is the solution? One of the primary benefits of the Arch Oil product, okay, yeah, it's a lubricant, yeah, it's a preservative, yeah, it does these things, but the one thing that it does that no other additive on the market does is increase combustibility. It actually increases the combustibility of the fuel in the combustion chamber and reduces carbon buildup in the intake and in the EGR cooler. This is absolutely crucial. On the fleets that we service, this product right here has not only increased the life of the injectors, but has kept the EGR system and everything working correctly in these trucks far longer than if they'd just been running standard fuel. This is what you need to have in your trucks. Premium diesel fuel is the key to the longevity of these new engines. I can't even tell you how many people have come to me and said, well, you know, at 200, this engine just didn't have the power it used to. And, it, and it, you have a loss of compression. The compression's lost because the rings and the bores have been damaged, just like I've shown you. 7.3s, we didn't have this problem. And that was because there was no EGR system on them. It is absolutely crucial that you have these products in your 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 17, whatever. And it doesn't matter if you're a Dodge or a Chevrolet or a Ford, you need to have these in there. BMW and Mercedes, these guys with these cars that have diesels in them. Absolutely crucial. The carbon buildup in these systems is absolutely crippling at 100,000 miles. is absolutely crippling these cars. Everybody who's been running this don't have a problem. You need to have these products in your truck. I don't care what your model truck you have, the late model trucks, if you expect to keep that truck for a long period of time, you absolutely need to have this in there. Go to Archel at PowerStrokeHelp.com, order this kit if you live in the south, this kit if you live up north during the winter, and you're going to get a free hat. Ooh, you're going to get a free hat. So go to Archel at PowerStrokeHelp.com, keep your head warm, keep your truck running for a very long time. All the proceeds from the sale of this product at Archel.PowerStrokeHelp.com go to Helping Train a Vet, which helps veterans ease back into civilian life. We've had a very, very successful, positive program here to help lots of folks get back in civilian life. If you want your engine to live as long as possible and reduce the hydrocarbons, the carbon buildup in your intake and, and EGR system, you absolutely need these products in your truck. There's no question in my mind. I have fleets and fleets of vehicles that I've seen this work successfully in, and you can have this success too. It doesn't cost a lot of money. It costs a whole lot more not to have this product in your fuel and oil than it, what it costs to buy it. Thank you very much for making PowerStrokeHelp.com the number one stop on the internet for the diesel enthusiasts.